What's up guys, so this is just an update of the 150 gallon where Mako is um, So Currently there's only like four of them in here um, I actually put the tinfoil barbs in here a few weeks ago and also the silver dollars but I find that they're actually still pretty small compared to them so compared to Mako especially because he's the one who's going to be able to eat them so I just decided I'm just gonna move them back um, the the silver dollars are back into their uh, 30 gallon um, tank and then the um, filament barbs are actually in the 180 gallon the only thing that I'm worried about with the 180 gallon with the filament tanks with the filament barbs being in the 180 gallon is that they might start eating the plants there and that's something that I wouldn't be happy with um, currently they're still doing pretty good they haven't eaten the plants which I'm very happy about um, so I'm probably gonna wait until they're around like five inches in length before I move them here in this tank um, the silver dollar story is different um, they're a little bit bigger in a way um, more differently shaped compared to the filament barbs um, although when I put them here they're still they're probably like uh, if you can see Mako's head right there uh, the smallest one is probably around that size and um, there was a time when I saw that uh, the silver dollars are actually eating all those floating uh, sticks on top they're eating the floating sticks and I think Mako didn't like that so he started like chasing them um, he's not like actively like chasing them to be food I believe um, but he's just chasing them because they're pretty much like competing with him with regards to food and that's the one of the main reasons why I actually put them there is to like be a competitor for food um, that's actually what the that's actually what the tinfoil barbs are there for like if you can see there's like a mark on the side of the tinfoil barbs and um, I'm not sure if it's from me um, chasing them when I was um, trying to catch the silver dollars or if it's from Mako and I don't know if you can see it closer without them spooking uh, but if you can see um, it's kind of like a big scratch there on the side um, it has gotten better um, the other one is the other one has a scratch on the top of his head too the other day and I think it's from uh, trying to escape me so the geophagus is doing pretty good um, he's still the boss of the tank I believe uh, he would still push around uh, push Mako around and um, I like that um, I like that uh, even though he's not the most um, equipped fish in here meaning it doesn't have like the uh, best set of teeth um, I still like that he is able to like stand against Mako the only concern that I have is that when Mako would actually uh, try to fight back then that's not gonna be a very beautiful sight um, but so far Mako's being pretty chill when it comes to the geophagus attacking him um, I was actually trying to make a feeding video but I noticed that Mako is actually a really 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 slow feeder um, those floating uh, the floating pellets on top if you can see those carnivore sticks um, he would actually let those things dry up first oh like uh, soak in first before he actually starts eating them um, another way that he will eat them is that if he see the tinfoil barbs um, trying to catch those for example those things that uh, gets uh, blown down 
he will start like eating them too because like obviously he's gonna feel like he's uh being outcompeted by the team for barbs um the other problem that i have with this tank i think are the snails um before on the 55 gallon when um mako was in the 55 gallon we have a snail infestation there and uh, if you can see there's like little dots on the tank and those are the baby snails and i hate them so much they look so dirty to me um what i do is like i just physically like take them out every water change how well however uh much i can and uh that has seemed to work um but i just feel like they're just really dirty to look at um they're not very um especially the adult one um i think i made a mistake and i put some assassin snail in here uh the reason that I, s that I say that it's a mistake is i think assassin snails are able to breed as well so instead of like <laughs> uh, obviously they're gonna like hunt the other snails there like the like the malaysian trumpets if there's any uh, and the ram's horn i'm believing this is these are the ram's horn but like since they can breed in salt uh, in fresh water as well then it's kind of hard to like it's kind of like killing the pest with another kind of pest situation um so yeah i'm not really excited about that um i haven't seen them for a good while i think they are burying themselves in the sand um but they're here they're everywhere um i wouldn't mind if the snails are just not very visible but they are and it kind of bothers me so yeah what i what i'll do is ju i'll just keep i'll pretty much just keep um i'll just keep uh taking them out every water change and that should help me control the population right now um i think one of the main reasons why they're like thriving here is because of Mako's eating habit um, like uh, the way he would like leave the food floating around like that um, obviously like there are particles of the food that will just like disintegrate into the water and those are going to be like the the snail food and if you provide food for the snails then they'll they'll keep thriving you know uh it's a vicious cycle for this tank um the tank is actually running with two filters it has a pen plax on one side and it has a it has a fx6 on the other side um when i first got the pen plax um i was really impressed by it uh uh, although the initial initial days of uh, running the pen plaques, it's just like really horrible because like you can just hear like the air gurgling out of it and that's when I found out that you really have to like push the hose uh, in the line and I already have like a already have like a video up with regards to how to put the pen plaques up uh, correctly and I especially put their the reason why why it's important to like put the whole put put the whole host uh into the line where like there's like a dentition there there's a marking um that's to prevent the air from coming in but anyway uh so like uh, as i was saying like there was just like a terrible noise for like a few days because i haven't figured that thing out yet and so i tried to like I tried different ways. I tried putting the fan plaques on the side, uh, which kind of helped uh, push the air out. But obviously, if there's like some air coming in, then it's still going to like keep gargling the air out of the outtake. So yeah, I realized that I I haven't pushed the whole hose in in 
to reach the mark and that doesn't uh, provide a, si a tight seal so that's what's causing the air to go into the canister and but I was able to fix that and now it's really quiet it's like really quiet um, that's the reason why I actually switched to canister instead of like the uh, the sump is because this one's really quiet um, the noise you're hearing right now if you can hear it through the microphone is actually the other tank where the silver dollars are but yeah obviously the fx6 is amazing uh, this one I got this one for uh, cheap like one person is just like not into the hobby anymore and I saw it in one of the apps uh, where they sell things and I got this one really cheap um, it's just around like 200 200 dollars I believe he sold it for 200 dollars and here in California it's running around 300 something 300 plus uh, so yeah when I first got it it was actually really noisy um, in the motor the motor it has like a loose uh, it just like have a rattling sound to it like so it sounds sounds like something is really loose and then I realized that oh it's actually the um, the motor um, o-ring and so when I checked it it was actually pretty loose it's not like doing its job so I just like bought a new one online and now it's really quiet um, I love FX6 so much because it's like a really efficient cleaner um, but uh, that took me a while to figure that out um, the noise but now it's really quiet um, so like that's just an update of the 150 gallon um, I'm going to be posting more videos soon I'm going to be posting more videos of the 180 gallon which I haven't shown in a while um, but for now uh, just enjoy this little monsters and fish out guys